Hey man, hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna tell you some stories here and some powerful tips to help you rock it up in the bedroom and in life in general. And this one in particular, of course, my videos are for all men, right? But this one, I really wanna really dedicate this one and really want the younger men to pay attention to this. Because every year, I've been doing this for years, almost, well, actually a decade now. And every year, I get more and more younger people with erectile dysfunction. And I mean, teen, all the way from late teens, 20s, 30s. And the reason I wanna tell you this story today is because I see a real pattern there. I wanna help you guys out and tell you a story because the guys that are in their 60s that I'm working with are doing better than a lot of guys that I'm seeing in their late teens, 20s, and 30s. And that's just messed up. That's not the way it should work in the world. And there's some reasons for this. And I wanna tell you some stories so you can turn this around and stop making these mistakes and start rocking it up like these 60 year olds, the guys in their 60s, okay? And the guy I'm gonna talk about today, he's 65 and he's just crushing it. Like I said, all these 60 year olds I'm having in their 60s seem to be crushing it these days. But this guy's new, so I wanna talk about him because I want to let you know how quickly this can turn around if you're addressing the right stuff. Because I just started working with him like four weeks ago. And he has come so far. You know, when I first started working with him, he was constantly worried about going into the bedroom. Morning wood was no good. Um, his erection quality was not that good if, if he ever got one and he would lose it fast. But this guy got into the program, got into the diamond program. He got his personalized assessment. We talked, I set him out on a path. He's been coming every week to the calls and progressing. And he just does everything that I tell him, right? And he has just made tremendous progress as a result. Just to give you an example, I mean, since, the, since he, be, he hadn't been having any sex, right? For, for months, you know? And now he's in and he's had sex, what was it, six times? Six to seven times in the past four weeks, successfully. And he's so happy about it now, he's rating his sexual satisfaction as a 10 out of 10. And he came on last night's call, on our diamond call, and he was just so happy and, and sharing his experiences. And he told me that he is so confident now that he doesn't even want the ED drugs in the house anymore. He just threw them away. He says, I am done with that for the rest of my life, right? So he's doing all this naturally, no ED drugs. And, you know, I'm glad I dove a little deeper to him because when I dove a little deeper, he said in two of those sexual experiences, he went twice, right? And he says he hasn't done that since, you know, he was in his 20s to where, you know, he would have such a long refractory period that he could not go two times two of those times he went twice okay with a short refractory period right 65 years old and i'm having guys contact me in their late teens their 20s their 30s right having erectile dysfunction and you know being on stuff like trt testosterone replacement therapy in their 20s and 30s right i mean it's crazy because of the damage that stuff does. And I, I got an insight from this um, last night when I was talking to him. I was like, why are these guys in their 60s doing so much better than the guys in their 20s? And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that when they were growing up, they saw all the men in their lives, their fathers, their grandfathers, being sexually active well into their 70s, 80s, and beyond. Some of, One of them even had talked about how his grandfather fathered a child at 83, right? So they seen that this is the natural way to go. And I'll tell you what's so damn insidious and why the, I think this video is so important is I am seeing so many YouTube influencers pushing TRT and Blue Chew, right? For guys in their 20s and 30s. And here's the guy, you know, here's these guys in their 60s doing it completely naturally. And here's the thing, when you're taking those kind of things, like TRT and Blue Chew, Blue Chew's wrecking your gut, 
right? Which makes it much more likely you're gonna lower your testosterone to begin with and makes it so much more difficult to get erections. Um, and because it, it damages your blood vessels. I'll go into a whole other video on how that works. And TRT, of course, your testicles stop making testosterone. If you're doing this stuff in your 20s and 30s, what are you gonna be like when you're in your 60s? Like, are you gonna be functioning like these guys? You know, these, some of these guys have tried the ED drugs and even a few of them are on TRT. In fact, I'm going to do an interview with one on Monday. So hopefully next week or the week after, you'll see how amazing this guy has done. He's almost 70, right? Coming off a of TRT and how difficult it was for him to regain things because he was on that TRT. And here's the messaging I see in the medical community. It's like, well, it's just time. You know, it's say, you know, you reach that age, it's just time. So it's time to go on TRT. It's time to take the ED drugs. You're just of a certain age now. You know, you're in your late 20s, you're in your 30s, which is insane. These guys, that's what the inside I got. These guys in their 60s know better. They grew up in a time where they saw everyone functioning. There was no ED drugs. There was no TRT, right? Time, it's, this is the first time in history that's ever had that marketing message. It's time to replace your natural manhood with synthetic chemicals that are damaging it. You know, it's really scary to me because like I said, I see it every year. More and more of these young guys learn from these older guys okay who have seen it right who have seen their grandfather father a child at 83 have seen the fact that they function without all these ed drugs and trt right because they grew up at a time when that stuff didn't even exist you know and now we have all these modern day alpha inhibitors that they never had to deal with so it is more difficult for us right but they're dealing with it these 60 year olds that i'm dealing that i'm working with they they understand it and they've adjusted their lifestyle to address that, right? So that they don't have to take TRT, they don't have to UD, they function naturally the way God always intended and the way they've always seen it, always seen it happen throughout their life. And that's what I want with you guys. And you know, I know it can be confusing because I, I see a lot of younger guys come to me who are jacked. I mean, they got lots of muscle, right? Even ones that haven't used steroids they're still having problems in the bedroom. You know, just because you look jacked, you know, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. You wanna put on muscle and that stuff. But that doesn't mean that you're functioning optimally as a man. The erection is the ultimate barometer of a man's health, right? If, if you're not getting rock solid morning wood, for instance, it could be heart issues, testosterone issues. Um, blood flow issues. But all of these things are important for your overall health, right? So if you're, my point here is that it's good that you're going to the gym, it's good you're doing these things, but it's easy to get frustrated because if you're doing all the things that are making you, you think are making you healthy and you're still having these issues, it's because there's certain aspects of your erection ecosystem that have not been addressed that need to be addressed. Okay, the answer is not taking a pill or a shot or a pellet. It's addressing the problem at the source so that you start functioning the way you were always meant to function throughout your entire life. Okay, <laughs> I know a bit on my soapbox today, but you know, I'm in a unique position where I see this increase every year. And I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you to end up if you're doing this stuff to yourself at this early of an age, okay, it's, it's gonna be very difficult for you. When you start getting like into my age, like in your 50s and your 60s, right? It's, um, there's no reason to do it. Just learn the ecosystem. And if you want help, just like these guys did, you know, they had the advantage of the fact that I did a full on assessment on them, right? And developed a customized plan and worked with them one on one. So our coaching programs, if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put a link below to the four pillars training, watch that. It will tell you all about how our coaching programs differ from our other products and um, you know how we give you all the personalized help you need. But regardless of that, regardless if you do that or not, the world 
is going to feed you a bunch of BS, right? In order to sell you products, in order to keep you feeling like you're weak and you need more, so you'll consume more, right? But it's, you need to realize that and you need to realize that if you believe it, it's actually your own fault, right? That's, that's just the way the world works. It's gonna tell you all kinds of limiting beliefs and BS, but if you buy into it, it's really your own fault. Don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. Watch the uh, case studies we have on these gentlemen, you know, in their 60s and how they've made all this progress. And I'm gonna be releasing some more here in this coming month so you can watch them. So you'll, you'll see this is entirely possible. And not only possible, it's what's gonna truly make you happy as a man. Because now you'll be functioning the way you were always meant to function as a man. Okay, enough for that. But it was great talking to you. Take action. Don't take those pills. Address the ecosystem. Click on the four pillars link and I'll talk to you next time.